Hi YouTubers, my name is Anjan Tech and this is my video. In this video, this is going to be a follow up after the um, when I installed the RAID card. Now if you watched uh, part 4 of the upgrade series, on my previous video, I just made a video of me installing the RAID card. That way you can boot from your, from the drive up here, the SATA, the Caddy. So now, this video will get towards people that who like to use a Jack Black and the solid state drive or hard drive on top. Because sometimes like people like to don't people say to me, I don't need a DVD burner, I need a carry adapter. And I did mention in my previous video briefly that you can have both. You can have a burner and a Solid state drive on top. So I'm going to show you quickly what I mean. I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to turn it around because it's, as you know, as you've seen it before. Okay. All right. Right. On my previous video, let me just zoom in. Okay, it's just a good view. As you see before, I have installed a caddy adapter so you can boot from the caddy with a, with a RAID card. But now I'm going to do a, another one. Just in case some guys want to use a, the DVD burner again, I can put a DVD burner here and put a solid state drive up here. Now, and let me take some parts out. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to disconnect some few components. Right. Now, before you start, you require one of these mini SAS and this plug here. Now, this is a four pin, and this is also, I call it similar to Dell model. I think it's called Dell, I can't remember the name again. I'll check in the description box. I think it's MX61, it's called. But MX this one's got some 90 degree port, but the one's called similar here yeah, doesn't have 90 degree port. So I don't have no don't have similar, just find the one that doesn't have the 90 degrees. And instead of me using a Molex down here as a splitter, I'm going to use this up here. So a bit of a more cable tidying. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take this drive out. Okay, one screw. Oh. Now, the reason I do this method because I think sometimes I like to install Windows to Windows again and I can't use external because it didn't let me work so I have to resort to my internal DVD drive, you know, the this one here. I thought about a Blu-ray but nah, don't need Blu-ray for this, just a DVD drive to install stuff. I got my image in ISOs, but I got this. Well, this don't have to be white out. I'm going to take this out carefully. I'm going to take this out. Make sure you don't lose this. I'm trying to figure out this actual part is actually, this part itself. I think it's called a, a mount adapter, but some people ask me a question about on my part one series about this part here. But couldn't find it anywhere, the actual part itself. If I had both of these, be good. I don't know about another burner just for that. I just want this alone, to tell you the truth. So 
and I'll put it on. So maybe this has got to be a quick video actually, probably, because um, I'm only going to change, I'm going to focus on the top side of it. There you go, this is back. Let's give it tighten in. this too. Before I do that I'm going to put this splitter in here. One's just port one, one's port two. Oh let me just move this in a bit so you can see a bit closely. That's better. This is going to be port 2. That's a DVD burner. But again, this is geared towards guys who want the DVD burner and the solid state drive on top. And this will be port 1. There you go. I might need something to cover something here, you know, like some protective thing. If it gets loose, just get something to tape over it. But I'm not going to do it on this video. I need some cable tied in. Make sure it's all secure. I hope this works. When it comes to IT, sometimes you have to do cable management. When you work in a server room, you know what I mean. Patching. Good thing it's not patching cables though. So that's port two. And that's port one. And there you go. So this will be port one, this will be port two. And this the rest will be just on the raid card. If you want to boot. So I've got my hard drive in here. See? Got my four terabytes. So if you upgrade a bus as of 2015 version or 2014, you can put four terabytes. Which you go up to now 16 terabyte of RAID 1, RAID 0, RAID 0. Make sure it's tidy. And that's it. So it's going to be a quick video. It's just, for, it's just for guys who wants to. to want to have a DVD burner and a SATA at the same time. And that's the end of the video. And that's just a quick installation of the Jack Black. So what I did today is just bring back the Jack Black DVD burner, put the solid state on top. So it'll be port one, port two. So you can now use it as a drive C, drive D. And again, the rest down here just fogs on your raids. Please let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts and if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter. I hope this video is very informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.